Hey guys, back in my office again. I just put the final finishing touches on the Monday with Deco Art upcoming can canvas series inspired by Van Gogh. Um, it'll be a three part series. Actually, there's a bonus fourth part. Anyway, I just finished that part. And you can see there's my video camera. I decided to film a vlog. I'm really avoiding cleaning the pantry closet. Although I have this sneaking suspicion I'm gonna end up doing it today. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to film a vlog and I'll be back. Hey guys, how are you today? So as you saw, I am filming a little small, short, um, few seconds here and there during my day today that is going to get posted on my Facebook group, uh, A Life of Art and Self-Expression. The link is in the description below. Um... We've had a lot of discussion over in the group lately about, uh, well, life and, you know, staying motivated and, um, you know, how to get going when you're, you know, really don't want to, you know, you have any kind of issues, especially mental health issues, um, anxiety disorder, which I have, or, you know, many of the other ones. Um, you have good days and bad days, and we tend to beat ourselves up about, you know, what we do or don't get accomplished, mostly don't get accomplished. And so we're really, you know, trying to start a discussion about that and kind of a support network for people and, you know, remind everybody, don't beat yourself up about it. I'm not perfect. I'm sure I'm certainly not perfect. So I thought I'd give them a glimpse into my day and, you know, the things I do get done, the things I don't get done, the things I procrastinate about. I always feel like I can get way more done than I do. Um... And, you know, I have days where I do get more done than others, but, you know, I'll give them a little bit of an insight. So if you want to see the video, and I've shot a couple other videos that are for the group only, and they went up directly onto um, Facebook. But if you want to see the videos, request to join, follow the link below, and we'll let you in. You can watch them. All right. I got some happy mail over the last couple of days I thought I'd share. All right. So I'll do the oldest one first, which is from... Eleanor Cartwright. Yeah, yeah, Cartwright. In Pismo Beach, California. And she sent me this really great, look at this bright cherry envelope with the, with the turquoise tape. I love this tape. And you know, I'm out of this tape and now I can't find it anymore. I'm wondering if they're not making it anymore. I like that tape. Um, okay. She sent me a really great note on a hand-painted card, which I love. Um, and it's so nice because she um, put the note in the card. Um, the note is actually in a separate piece of paper and the card is still blank. So if I wanted to do something else with the card, I could. I don't think that's going to happen, but you know. I love the card and it looks like a jelly print. Isn't that cute? I love it. All right. She also included um, some stuff in this handmade envelope, which I love. And you know I'm saving all the envelopes right now because we're going to do a journal. And she said she found these, she had these, and she thought I might be able to use them. And if I'm not mistaken, they fit on my Seven Gypsies rack. They're like a library pocket thing that you can glue together, and I think stick an ATC card in there. So let's get my Seven Gypsies rack. <coughs> um, let's see. Yes, they do. Oh, so cool. Yep, they fit on here. Lovely. So yes, I can definitely do something with them. If I don't use them on the rack, I may do something else with them. There's a stack of them here. They would make actually a cute mini album. And she also included a piece of um, chipboard that should fit on here too. But anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. this back in here until I get a chance to put it away and then I got this envelope from Nikki Lynn Piker thank you Nikki and she decorated the envelope love that so I'll be saving that for that journal thing I'm working on and she sent um, this really great card we did a Hawaii themed AM ATC card swap in Crazy Island family recently to celebrate Claudia's move to Hawaii, Claudia Rossi's move to Hawaii, 
and Nikki sent me a Turtle Family ATC card. I'm trying to see how I can get it off of here. Oh yeah, it's just a little piece of not very sticky tape. Cool. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, it's upside down. I love it. So I'm going to have to put that on my ATC rack. And a very nice note. Um, you guys always send the best notes. I'm going to see if I can get this tape off of here so it doesn't stick that note together. There we go. Um, she also sent some great um, tissue paper. A couple different colors. And here's some more. The sun, it's late in the afternoon because, you know, I didn't get this done this morning. So the sun is kind of weird because we're in front of my window. Um, some blue and white checked um, deli paper. Love that. Looks like a piece of note paper that has some really pretty lilies on it. There we go. Napkin. Says, <laughs> that's cute. I like that. Want to buy Lel RT? <laughs> All right, some nice stickers. No, they're just little pictures, little Easter pictures. And oops, a little cutout. Kind of looks like a little person. I'm not. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it looks like a person to me. Some papers. This set. Uh, this is a um, Christmas um, sticker, to and from sticker. And then this piece of paper. I love that with a note, which I haven't read yet, but I'll read it off camera. And then I got a box from my dear friend Jerry Bellini. Jerry, I wasn't expecting so much stuff that she sent. Um, she has, I think, I forget if it's a sister or sister-in-law that works at Land's End. You know, the people who make the really great canvas bags and stuff and outdoor wear. Um, and they had in their store, I guess, a bag of canvas offcuts. Anyway, look. They're so cool, and you know, if you haven't seen it yet, Michelle um, at Lady Blue Studios did a canvas journal not long ago, and um, I think I'm going to have to put these together with some plain canvas and make a journal, because, you know. And then she also got these, which are from the tops of, I guess, bags. Um, they're long. They're probably about two feet, and it's, you know, open all the way through. And it has a zipper. Yeah. So she sent me two of them kind of as a challenge to see what I could do with them. So I have that one and I have this one. I'm still thinking they would make a really great pencil bag. It's really long, but I have some paint brushes that would be great in there. I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna I'm gonna think about it. All right, then she sent me a really great note. Again, another handmade um, note card. It feels, again, like um, it's hand-painted paper. I don't think it's jelly printed. I think it's painted in and, like, stamped and doodled on and stuff. But look at that paper. Don't you just love that paper? <laughs> love it, love it. If it was my paper, I would have to scan it so I could keep using it. <laughs> But I didn't do that. That would sort of be copyright infringement. All right. So then I got from her this little bag. Really cool. Oh, there's a sandal in there. <laughs> oh, there's two sandals. I just noticed there's a sandal in there. Ugh. So a little bag of, like, charms. I love that. There's a Volkswagen Beetle in there, too. My daughter has a Volkswagen. Um, everything was wrapped up with some nice tissue and then tied up with this yellow cord, which I'm going to have to do something with. And then she, I didn't know that Jerry makes these really great crocheted bags. 
she's been making them for a while and she sells them I guess locally or at least did and um, she has this smaller one um, I've made a version of like this before out of just fabric not crocheted I sewed them I did them for a long time they were great and I actually sold them all don't have any more so Jerry thank you for sending me one um, it's a small bag just meant for holding like your phone and your keys and like your license like when you go out walking and stuff like that it's just a small with a long strap so you can put it cross body and your hands are free I love that and it's like in denim and blue colors and it's crocheted out of strips of fabric not yarn and she not only sent me that one she sent me a big bag I love it isn't it great and it's this one is lined with cotton fabric so you can put all kinds of stuff in there you don't have to worry about things falling out the holes <laughs> which is a good idea so this is so wonderful Jerry thank you so much and everybody I appreciate all the happy mail and the little bits and pieces you guys send me oh yeah 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 and it's not because of the happy mail that's just because it's kind of one of those days blah Bloody, you bloody, bloody. Well, you know you should be doing stuff, but you're just having trouble like getting going. Blah. I'm not having. It's not a bad day. It's not a great day. It's just a blah, bloody. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going through my washi tape collection not long ago, and I realized I had a bunch of these. Um. Scotch expression tapes like this. Now these are like your standard Scotch tape. You know, your standard clear plastic tape. Only they're patterned. And I don't know why they're in my washi tape drawer because they don't tear. You have to cut them. And I guess, you know, but they're patterned. Maybe that's why they were in there. But I realized I could have them on my desk and they fit in my tape dispenser. So, you know, I could have one in here for a while and use it, and when I get bored with that one, I could switch it out with one of the other ones. I don't, you know, I have like five of them, and then clear. So I thought that was an interesting idea. I think that's it now. I can't think of anything else. You know, I have a million things on my list I should be doing. I don't know if I'm going to get any of them done today. I might go try to watch a life book lesson. I'm like only on week 18. I really have, what, 12 weeks to the end of the year. Oh no, I'm in trouble. All right. I think that's it right now. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And um, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, please let me know. You can leave a comment on the video or my contact information is in the description below, uh, along with a link to my Facebook group. And... If you would like to send me happy mail or you would like to um, send me a product to try and review, my P.O. box is in the description below too. I know it's kind of long, it's getting kind of wordy, but take a minute and read it, peruse it, and uh, yeah, all that stuff is in there. All right, I'll see you all later. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day, have a great week, and do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.